Sarah Stamp and Retreat. So this week I got some really lovely happy post um, and it's from my Stampin' Up upline. So when you're a Stampin' Up demonstrator you join up under somebody so if you'd like to join you could always join up under me and then you become part of a team. So my upline organises a team day for all of her demonstrators which is happening in March and she's asked me to be a display stamper for it and that means that she sends me a pack of goodies and I make some cards or boxes or anything paper craft essentially to then show to all the other demonstrators to show you a selection of things that you can do with those products so I was really excited to get my pack especially because it's a selection of things from this gorgeous snail mail suite and this is something I've been umming and ahhing about getting for a while so I was really excited to have some to play with um, because it's really really cute but I don't actually have it at the moment. So she sent me half a pack of the paper so you can see them here and you'll see as we go through that I've already cut into some of them in preparation for making everything. And she sent me some of the die cuts so you get the cute little envelopes and there's some hearts, little speech bubble. Um, these cut out some of the stamped images and these squares. And these dies also cut out some of the images from the papers as well. I've hand cut these because I don't have the dies at the moment. But um, I just wanted to let you know that those do actually coordinate with the papers as well as the stamp set and look how gorgeous those images are on the stamp set it's actually making me think i need it in my life so i'll show you what she's given me in the pack and then we'll get on and make some cards because i thought that what i would do is that i would make some of the cards that i'm making for her on a video and then you can see them too so i'll show you the papers first so you get this gorgeous one with the presents and the letters and the paper aeroplanes with this one on the back. You can see I've cut into this because we're going to use some of these mushrooms later. And that's got this gorgeous heart print on the back. Then we've got this and again you can see I've cut some of those snails out with this pattern on the back. And then you've got these cute speech bubbles with the hello, bonjour, hello, the little hearts, and the cute mushrooms on the back. And then we've got this one, which you can see we'll be using for one of our cards as well. I've already cut that up. And that's got the cute small snails on the back. And then you've got this, which I've also cut into, but you get the idea with this nice pattern on the back. Then she also sent me two sheets each of these colour card stocks, which coordinate with the sweets. So that's Daffodil Delight, Real Red, Basic Grey, Bermuda Bay and Blushing Bride. And she sent me some Basic White card stock. And she also sent me some of the other bits from the suite. So you can see this is part of a pack of these um, resin hearts. And then we've got some of these little clippies. And then these are some of the die cuts. So she's just cut those out so that I've got some of the die cuts I can use on my cards or on my makes. So how cute are those little toadstools? So there's a really cute selection of those there. And then we've got some of this snail mail twine. And then also some Daffodil Delight ribbon. So I was really excited to get this opportunity to have a play with all this lovely all these lovely things. And that's the really nice thing about stamping up. It's there's so much team stuff that goes on, and it's really lovely to, even though it's virtual at the moment get crafting with everyone in your team and get some ideas from other people it's just a really nice thing to do 
So I thought I'd start with a really simple DL card today. So this is a DL card blank. So, so it measures about three and seven eighth inches by eight and a quarter inches. And I've cut two more strips. They're both eight and a quarter inches wide. And this is two and seven eighths inches. So it's an inch smaller this way than the Bermuda Bay. And this one is a quarter of an inch smaller than that. So this one's eight and a quarter inches by two and five eighth inches. And then I just thought that it'd be cute to have these little snails just kind of crawling their way across the card. And they're just so sweet and so happy. And then I'm gonna cut out another one to go there. I've already cut these before the video, just so that you don't have to watch me cut all of them. So we're gonna cut this little one here. So it's this, so it's this cute snail paper that we're using and I'm just cutting this one off here. And actually this big one is off here, but all the other pieces that we're using on here are off that other sheet that I showed you first. So I'm just gonna quickly cut him out. And these are pretty simple to cut. There's nothing too fine on these. So actually if you don't do much fussy cutting, then these shapes are quite nice because there's nothing too complicated about them. And you can just kind of go on and do it. My tips for fussy cutting are always move the paper and not the scissors makes it much easier and you get much nicer, cleaner lines. And the scissors that you're using are pretty important as well because you want some nice sharp scissors that are sharp all the way to the tips. You can see how pointy the tips are on these. And I prefer to use small scissors, but I know some people prefer to use larger scissors. These ones are the Stampin' Snips from Stampin' Up. So the actual stamp set has got some cute little sentiments on it. Has to be well enclosed, you snailed it, hello, you've got mail. But I don't have that stamp set. So I'm going to pair it with this best year stamp set. Because this is one of my favourite sentiment stamp sets. So I think I want to make this into a birthday card. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to use this happy birthday to you stamp. And then I've got a bit of the Daffodil Delight cardstock here. And I'm just going to stamp on that with my basic grey ink. And I'm just going to go and cut that out. So originally I was going to cut this down, but actually I think it looks quite cute. There's a big strip across there. So I'm just going to glue all these together. Then I'm just going to pop some dimensionals behind this big one. And this is actually one of the die cuts that I was sent. And then I'm actually going to pop some of these little hearts along this bottom strip, the yellow strip. And I can just glue that front panel onto my card. And I'm really pleased with that. It's a really cute first little card. And I don't really often make DL cards as well, so I'm really happy with that as well. 
So then for my second card, I'm going to use the Blushing Bride. And this is the paper from the pack. And so I've got a six inch square Blushing Bride card blank. Then this is five and three quarter inches square. This is four inches square and this is three and three quarter inches square. And I'm just going to brush on a little blushing bride onto this square in the middle. It's quite a pale colour, so I think I need more um, ink on my brush. And you can see I'm just starting from this lower right hand corner and working my way over the paper because I want it to be darker down here because I want the focus of my card to come down here. I just want to bring together some of the elements. So I've got in the little snail, one of these yellow mushrooms that's also cut from the paper. Then these are some of the die cuts. And I might just add this little pink die cut heart as well. And then I think I'm going to make this one into a birthday card as well. So I've got this small piece of Blushing Bride card stock. And I'm going to stamp on it using the same stamp we used for the last card with the basic grey ink again. Let's just pop that on the bottom. I think I stamped that ever so slightly wonky, so let's try again. I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to cut that down. But I thought it would be fun to have that like that, so I'm just going to cut a little tab out of this end. I like to cut at the middle. And then cut from one corner to the point, and that makes it as even as possible. Now I'm happy with that layout, I think that's super cute, so I'm going to stick that down. Now I'm going to use a bit of dimensional just to pop behind this heart. And I think that can go just there. So then I feel like there's a bit much space around there for my liking now. So I think I'm going to make it into a 5x5 five five card. So I'm just going to go and cut these two down so that I've got a 5x5 five five card blank. So I cut this down, which I think is quite cute, but actually I also cut a basic grey 5 inch card blank. And I think it looks really cute on that and I think I'm going to go with this. But I thought I'd show you both options because you might prefer this really kind of pretty one. But I actually really like it on the basic grey, so I'm going to go with that. So this is still the same, um, the same mat, so it's a 4 inch Blushing Bride mat. And then I'm just going to stick it onto a five inch square basic grey card blank. In fact, I might pop some dimensionals on the back. So that's our second card finished. So then for my third card, 
I've got these super cute little envelopes, which I forgot to show you at the beginning because I'd put them out ready for this card. But these are some of the die cuts that came in my little pair. And look, that's this little envelope here. So they're die cuts. And they're just really, really cute. So I'm just going to glue these up because I'm not going to put anything inside them. So I just want to glue them up. But you can see these little die cuts fit inside them. So you could pop on hello and just have that popping out. Something like that would be really cute as well. But for today, I'm just going to glue them up. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue along there, a little bit along there. And the same with this side. And let's just pop a little bit on there as well. I'm just going to do the same for all of them. So I just want to put one of these little hearts just on each of those little envelopes just to decorate it a little bit. So then I've got a real red DL card blank here. So that measures three and seven eighths inches by eight and a quarter inches. And this one is quarter of an inch smaller. So this is eight inches by three and five eighths inches. And then this piece is two and a quarter by six and five eighths inches. So I'm just going to glue this onto here. And I just think that's really cute with all the little speech bubbles on it. And I'm going to pop this bit up on dimensionals. So I'm just going to use the outside of some of these mini dimensionals that I've got just to pop on there. And these are really good for when you're popping up big pieces. The outsides of the mini dimensionals are actually especially good to use because they're really wide. So I'm just going to cut some of these speech bubbles out. So then I'm going to stick down these cute little envelopes. And then I'm just going to pop a little dimensional behind the speech bubble. Now I'm just going to have that coming out of here. So that's my third card finished. So then for my fourth card, I thought that it would be nice to stick a load of the um, mushrooms, which I've cut from the mushroom paper. So I've cut all these out of here and I thought it'd be cute to stick them all onto this piece of Blushing Bride cardstock. And this piece of cardstock measures a quarter of an inch smaller than your A6 card blank. So that is four and an eighth by five and seven eighths. So this measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I'm just going to lay these out over here. And I think I just want a couple more of these bits from the side here. I could put here and then the bottom to put there. So I'm just going to cut some of these bits. And again, these are really nice, simple shapes to cut. Put that one there. 
And I think I've cut this side with. So I'm just going to use dimensionals to pop those up. So I'm going to use a mixture of the big ones and the small ones. And you don't need to worry about bits hanging off the edge because we're just going to cut those off. I think we might need a bit of yellow down here so I think I'm just going to cut a yellow one down there. I might actually cut this bit off the bottom. So I don't talk a lot about my Stampin' Up! team on my videos, but they're a really important part of why I enjoy Stampin' Up! because we've got a really nice team and there's a Facebook group where people share things and you can go if you want to ask questions and Everyone's really friendly and really helpful and then we have team events like the one that I'm preparing for today and there's also Stamping Up Lead events as well. Um, and it's just a really lovely thing to be a part of. So some people join the team because they want to be a demonstrator in the traditional sense like I am um, where you want to make a business out of it and so then you can sell the products and for everything that you sell of Stampin' Up! products a really nice way to do it because you don't need to keep any stock or anything because the, the orders go direct to Stampin' Up! and Stampin' Up! ship to your customers um, and then you get a minimum of 20% of what you sell after VAT but that goes up and up the more you sell you get loads of different bonuses and additional commission and things like that the more and more you sell so it's really nice for that but then uh, there's a lot of what we call hobby demonstrators as well and those are people that are just demonstrators because they want to get the discount and you can join up there's actually a really good joining offer now you get £130 worth of product for £99 when you join anyway. So you pay £99 for your starter kit, then you get to put £130 worth of product in it and it's free shipping. So that's a really good deal to start off with. And then also, because at the moment it's celebration until the end of February, um, until February ends, they're also giving everybody who joins up six free packs of pattern paper. So that's a really good deal if you want to join at the moment. So I would love to have you as part of my team. So only people that live in the UK, France, the Netherlands, Germany and Austria can be part of the can be part of my team just because I've got a European demonstratorship which means that I can only sell or have team that's in those countries but it's really fun and if you fancy getting that starter kit being part of a really fun team having fun training days and getting discount off your products then I would really recommend that you join and I'll put a link in the description below to how you can join my team. So now we've got this really cute little background to our card and I just recently bought, you can see they're still in the packaging, these punches. I've not bought them before 
because I've got loads of layering circle dies and I didn't think I would need them. And then I was doing classes um, a few weeks ago and I just wished that I had them because they are actually, layering circles dies are good because they don't take up as much room and you get a lot more of them for the price. But these are really good just for making really quick sentiments or just circles for anything really. So I've got the two and a quarter inch punch here. I'm going to punch that with the basic white cardstock. And then I've got the two inch here. I'm going to punch two inch circle from the Blushing Bride cardstock. So I can layer those up on there. So I'm going to use this Wishing your, You Your Best Year Yet stamp and the basic grey ink again. I'm just going to pop that on here and you can see that the curly bits will hang off the side. So we won't get those in but I'm happy with that, it's not a problem. then here is our card and I'm showing it you like this but actually I've decided to change it up a little bit and I'm going to swap my whisper white card blank or my basic white card blank for basic grey card blank so I just think it sets it off a bit a little bit better I'm going to swap my whisper white circle for basic grey circle as well and then here I've just got a piece of basic grey cardstock that's half an inch wide and it's the same width as my Blushing Bride cardstock and I'm just going to put that along underneath. So I'm just going to glue all this down now. And I think I might put few additional so I'm just going to see where that goes so I'm just going to kind of measure this out a bit I'm just going to put some of these stamping dimensionals double sided foam pads just along this strip and then I can just adhere this sentiment onto there and that's it so that's my fourth card finished and for my fifth card, I've just got a whisper white card blank here, and this is cut out of um, sorry, basic white card blank. I'm still in whisper white mode because that's what we used to call it. So this is made from thick basic white, and then this one is cut using these stitch so sweetly dies, and it's the largest one of these frames. So you can see you get all the layering frames, and then you get these shapes as well in this set i really love this set i've just used the largest one of those to cut that out and then i'm going to bring my blending brushes in again you can see that this isn't making any marks when i brush it on here so even though it looks a bit pink it's fine and i'll give it a wash at the end of filming and that will get a lot of the colour off but for now I'm just going to use it. So I've got balmy blue ink here and I want to put that at the top of here because I kind of want to kind of create a bit of a sky. And I kind of like that slightly patchy look because I want it to kind of look a little bit like there's some nice white clouds in there. And then I'm going to just use the Bermuda Bay at the bottom. And obviously the Bermuda Bay is the colour that coordinates with a snail mail set. So that's why I've chosen that for the bottom. So I think, I thought that that then would give kind of a, a nice background to this. I wanted it to give the effect of a kind of grass and sky background without actually drawing in any grass and sky so that's why I've chosen those colours and then that will sit in the middle of there. 
So I want a nice little scene on here. And these are obviously just pieces that I've cut from the paper again. But I just want this one because I want one to go the other way so that it looks as though they're kind of talking to each other. So I've decided that I'm actually going to swatch my swap my Whisper White card blank for a Daffodil Delight one, just to add a bit more colour to it. And I think these are quite fun cards. And then I'm just going to use my basic grey ink again, and I'm going to use my Happy Birthday to You, and I'm just going to pop it right up here. That's my basic grey ink again, and then I'm just going to pop all this down the bottom. So then I'm just going to stick these down. And I'm going to pop this final one up on some dimensionals. I've just got these little ones to hand. Usually I'd use the bigger ones, but since I've got these to hand, I'm just going to pop these ones on. So I just popped that up on my card, and that's the kind of final card finished. So I'm just going to bring in the other ones. So there's our five cards from today. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's project. I've really enjoyed making them. If you do, I'd really appreciate you clicking like below. And you can also click subscribe if you'd like to see my future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will notify you when I've got new projects online. All of the products that we've used for today's cards will be linked in the description below. And there'll also be a host code there. If you pop my host code into your basket before you check out, then I'll send you a free gift after the end of the month. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.